Okay, uh, next posture is pretty fun. You can use a strap for it if you like. It's a balancing posture. So all we're going to do is we're going to come like this, feet together, hands on our waist, and on an inhale, we're going to bring a leg up. Now over time, we're going to move to this leg being straight and we're holding it like this. You can see that I can't do that. I'm getting pretty close, so that's pretty nice. Didn't realize that. Um, so what you're probably going to want to do, just like this, one hand on your knee, one hand on your waist. Try to ground evenly into the foot. The tendency is going to be to roll forward on the toes or roll to the outside angle or outside edge of the foot. But you want to think of the foot as having sort of four corners and evenly into the foot. And as you're grounding down on the foot, you're going to feel that sort of trace integrity in your leg. And then you can align the rest of the structure based off that. Trying to keep the hips even. Right, you're going to want to bring up your right hip, that's how it's going to naturally feel. Right hip goes up and more pressure to the outside, but no, even, even foot, even hips. And if bringing up your knee causes your hip to go up, then you brought it up too far. So you, that's how you're going to know when you're too deep. And now if you have a strap or you want to use a strap, you could also wrap the strap around the foot so that the foot can be straight, you want the arm to be straight, but this is going to be much harder to balance. You can even see I'm having a little bit of trouble. But it is good, and you could do it this way too. But when we're beginning, I think what you should do is just focus on standing on one foot balancing and just having the knee at a comfortable height. So that's going to bring us up to eight minutes. Two minutes left. 